Hi guys, this is Carmela of the Sunny Rock Kitchen and today we're talking to you from Arizona. Finally we got to a warm spot where we can shed our clothes and take some take in the sunshine so it's been a long time coming and we're enjoying it pretty much. And today we're actually as you notice we're not in our tent and we're not in a house. We're actually in Dawn's sister's RV. Her name is Sandy. You have met her when I first started my blog, actually, way back in 2007. One of the first things that I blogged about was the time that I spent in her kitchen. We had an uncooking blitz for like three or four days, pumped out, you know, food, like till our, our heads caved in and had a real blast. So today we're in her teeny kitchen, <laughs> and I just thought um, I would show you, because uh, I'm... I've been meaning to uh, show her how to work with Irish moss and I think that's something that a lot of you guys might appreciate because it's one of those new products that is still um, it's a little delicate to work with and uh, it's still very much unknown so I thought if you see how I do it and it's been working for me so uh, hopefully it will be working for you too so all right Sandy you ready let's go <laughs> So, okay, normally what I do, uh, I rinse, okay, I should show you actually, there's different kinds of Irish moss. There's Irish moss that you can get at a health food store in powder form or in, in um, little flakes and that's not what you want because that's, that's a dark Irish moss usually and um, you can't rinse it so it still has, you know, grits and it has a bit of a, or a strong seaweed flavor. And actually, the first time that I, I made something with Irish moss, I used that, and I ended up having to toss. Actually, I didn't toss the chocolate mousse. It was a seaweed chocolate mousse. I gave it to Kylo, oh. which he didn't <laughs> mind. But, uh, but this is not the stuff that you want. The stuff you really want is this. So Irish moss in, in its natural form, you see? it's And it's been dry. And that you can find... Um, mostly at online stores and it used to be that only Elena Love's uh, Pure Joy Planet used to carry it and Cafe Gratitude, they're, they've been a huge influence in, in our starting to use Irish moss, especially in desserts. Uh, but this, uh, now a lot of places carry it and uh, so it's for you to just you know look around. I've also found it at some health food stores in California, you know, they're so cool there, there's such a huge raw community, especially around the Bay Area, mm. and you can actually find it there. So this is what you want, the Irish moss. Um, and normally we'll, I rinse it under the tap and it's cold water, but today because we're in the RV, and actually we're not plugged in right now, we're, we're in transition, we're in the parking lot uh, of the overflow campground, so I'm thinking I'll just do it in a container with water. Okay, so it's one of the key ingredients is that you use cold water because if you have warm water, it's going to actually uh, remove some of the gelatinous properties of the Irish moss, which is so critical. The thing too, um, Irish moss expands quite a bit, and to know how much you're going to use, that's always a you know, you have to guesstimate. So, the Irish moss keeps for about 10 days in the fridge, so if you have extra. That's not a you know big issue. Whoa, that's a big piece that just <laughs> the tentacles just won't. I'll just use smaller pieces in there. Alright. Hopefully it will serve us for today. Okay, so what I'm like I said, normally I just rinse it each piece under cold water first. Uh, but today I'm just gonna massage it. And this is to help remove uh, the grits. You know, there's some sand particles. Um, also, sometimes there's little pieces of plastic, and that's from the nets that were used to harvest the moss. Or sometimes there's little pieces of other types of seaweed. So is there a certain ratio that you use? For, you know, that, I, I mean, at this point, I would just do it under the tap, right? So there's no real ratio. And it's really just like when you're soaking. See all the sand in there? It's really just like when you're soaking uh, anything, you know, cashews or whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna... So normally I rinse it under the tap and then I put it in the bowl and do what I'm doing now. You see, I rinse it under mm -hmm. the tap and then I, I squeeze it like this, maybe 
two or three or four times mm -hmm. until the water comes out clean. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's pretty simple. So let's see. Yeah, it's, it seems to be doing its job. Some people like to soak it and then do this. But I think once it's been soaked, that's when the, the gelatinous yeah. properties have been developed and or are more, you know, there. So then I think rinsing it and all that then might be uh, dangerous, eh, to lose some of it. <clears throat> so who says that you need a big kitchen and you need to be all set up to make fancy desserts and all that? No way. You know, I've actually just this week I made a wonderful pecan caramel cake. Um, out of our tent again, you know, and now doing Irish moss from the RV. So you guys, you have no reason to to uh, not get working with this stuff. And it's it's intimidating because there it seems complicated. Mm -hmm. And Irish moss, if you don't do it properly, sometimes you know if you make a pie and the the amounts are just so right. Sometimes you just you weigh it with a scale, mm -hmm. and the scale you know it has to be exactly so many grams. And uh, otherwise, your pie filling might not hold properly. You see, might oh. not be firm enough. So you know, it is you know qu quite delicate. But you know, if you do it pro you know the right way, I think the main mistake that I did before was to use hot water. Right. Mm -hmm. So I got my Irish moss that's been rinsed, and now I'm just gonna add water. Oops, that's not Little quite more. enough water. And you need, you need to, um, like I said, it, it's going to expand quite a bit, so it's good to put quite a bit of water in, or you can always check on it later and see, you know, adjust water, because sometimes it's got little, little bits sticking out. There. And you just let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. My method of choice that I've been using after talking to Gregory, the, the uh, pastry chef of Cafe Gratitude, he, um, after a talk I had with him, that's when I started to really work with Irish moss and have it work for me, because before it was hit and miss. So one of the tips that he gave me was to put it in the fridge. So you use cold water and then you put it in the fridge for 24 hours mm -hmm. before it's ready to use. Mm. And then that soak water you keep, so you mm -hmm. take whatever amount that you need, mm -hmm. and then the rest you leave in the soak water, and um, it will keep for up to 10 days. Uh, because we're in a rush today, we're gonna go for a hike, and then we wanna whip up a dessert, and have, you know, we have all these plans. So, what I'm thinking, I will leave it at room temperature mm -hmm. for three, three and a half hours, and that's gonna be like the equivalent of leaving it in the fridge. Okay, yeah. so that's pretty much it. And then the, when I will we'll go for a hike while, while this is uh, expanding, and then when that's done, I'll come back and show you how I prepare it for recipes. Okay, talk to you later. Hi, so we're back in Sandy's portable kitchen, <laughs> and we're going to have a look at our Irish moss that's been soaking for about three and a half hours. So see how it has nicely puffed up from absorbing mm -hmm. the liquid. Don, are you zooming in? So this looks about right to me. So I think we'll just go ahead and, and uh, move to the next step. Okay. So there are certain recipes that call for Irish moss that's been weighed, weighted on a scale, like I was explaining before. But my pre my preferred way of using it is with uh, by measuring a certain amount and mixing it with water and making a paste out of it or a mm -hmm. gel which is basically it's just that the ratio is different mm -hmm. so I'm gonna make a paste and uh, and then I can use that in recipes mm -hmm. just keep that in the fridge and then whenever I want to use it in a recipe it's all ready to go so for this particular recipe or there I like to use a half a cup of Irish moss and it needs to be really um, packed so because I find it can almost make you know shrink by half you know when you really pack it in so th that's always important in, in the recipe anyways to see whether the ingredient is packed so that's just a little bit all right so we got our half a cup and I guess 
I should be good and chop it up first, but you know what? I don't feel like it. So we'll just go ahead and put it in the blender. So a half a cup of Irish moss and one cup of water. So one, so one to two. Mm -hmm. That's the ratio. Okay, and then just blend it up. And it's going to take quite some time because all the particles need to completely break down. Mm -hmm. And uh, most likely you have to stop the Vitamix or the blender. I don't know if a little an, a blender, a regular blender could do a really good job about it. But it needs to be completely broken down and at some stage it's as though um, it explodes. You'll see it, it becomes this amazing gel. Mm. So I'll just go ahead and blend it and I'll most likely have to stop it once or twice. Mm. Right. So First I'm going to show you what it looks like. So th see this beautiful white gel? So this is basically the raw form of carrageenan, you know, and it's something that's been used for years and years in the food industry. But I, actually some people have an adverse reaction to it because uh -huh. it's been processed, you know, and again, you know, you, then cooked and, and uh, denatured. But the raw, the raw version is a whole different thing. So see how it's nice and, and gelatinous? Um, and I, to achieve that consistency, I had to run it for a good minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, and it needs to get warm. That's one of the elements to allow it to explode. It needs to be warm. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, there shouldn't be any particles left. And this is just, you know, a beautiful gel that is ready to be used in any recipe. So I think that's about it. And you know what we're going to do? Actually, now we're going to do a coconut cream uh, using young coconut and the Irish moss and a little bit of coconut oil and cashews. And, uh, and we'll be enjoying that on, with berries tonight as our dessert. So sorry, guys. Won't be showing that part, but, um, but the recipe's in my new book. The, where? It's right there. In my new Delightfully Raw book, which uh, you can find on my blog, The Sunny Raw Kitchen. So thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you again from maybe California, where we're headed next. Bye!